The Cramps were born at the height of punk, a crossbreed of glam rock, B-movie sentiments and rockabilly music. Their special vision has endured almost 15 years and exported America's trash aesthetic to millions. Now, with a fresh contract and a new album, Flame Job, Poison Ivy and Lux Interior have listeners back in their clutches. And their first task has been reinventing the twist. Down in the basement of their new Maison Cramp, Lux and Ivy also celebrate a new and more private home. Our last, our last place was an apartment right on the street. We'd come out of there, you know, looking a wreck, you know, we'd have a hangover or something, come out in the morning to go get some coffee at the corner or something, and there'd be a carload of French people going, Oh, look, oh, look, it's Lux and Ivy. That recognition came out of Rockabilly. For the Cramps, it is timeless. These people were futurists in their day, and that's, you know, like some people have the wrong idea about rockabilly, and they have a real kind of retro idea of what's authentic. And uh, I think the true rockabillies back then would have done anything to be way ahead of their time. I think they were just fueled by the atom bomb. It's like a drug, that rockabilly music, you know. The Grants took rockabilly lower than he had ever gone. <laughs> And the band gave things that very special style. Women could not resist the wild passion he aroused in them. The rubber clubs yeah. are really hard to get off. They're hard to get on. They're hard to get on, but then they're really hard to get off. But they feel really sexy. Most of all, they took their music into very different places. <laughs> Some of the cramp's image may have come from predictable sources. We were digging the New York Dolls, T-Rex, what was sort of left of Alice Cooper at the time. And somehow that all combined into influencing us. But their own aims were big. The idea was to make a new world, kick the old world in the ass and make a new world uh, totally uh, uh, better than anything that had ever happened before. Take all the things that were known from before and put them together in a new way that would like, like, just destroy the past and make something brand new. As Flame Job demonstrates, the Cramps haven't changed their outlook. Dames, chains and high heels still play a prominent part. So do cheesy sex, motorbikes and surrealism. All help keep Lux and Poison Ivy smiling. That's a good positive thing that, that keeps you going and, and, and makes you throw aside all the nitpicky, silly, small stuff. Don't sweat the small change. Still, when you live next door to a celebrity graveyard, you have lots of those little everyday irritations. We get strange smells in our house every once in a while when they cremate bodies at Forest Lawn. That's, that's really unusual once you know what that aroma is. Yeah, get that a lot. But we're protected by this big lit up cross that's right at the top of the hill on Forest Lawn. And I really do think it makes us safe. Years of experience have taught the Cramps valuable lessons, such as when in Rome, don't steal any bones. Uh, we went to the Roman catacombs, which were way down in the bowels of the earth, and we go down there, and they went, and, but there's just like skeletons laying everywhere down there. And, uh, and then they said, don't steal the bones. When, when, when they told us this in advance, which of course made us say, okay, where are some to steal then? So, you yeah, know, they gave us this fun. idea. But, but there was like a bunch of us, you know, in our entourage when we were down there. And the ones that stole some of the bones then later on in the day got sick. And then we threw, and, and, and we all, then we all decided, you know, look, you're getting sick because you stole the bones. So we threw the bones away and then we feel all right. <laughs> So, though the cramps are committed to their kind of mayhem, they now stick to at least one rule. I think we have a basic philosophy, don't steal bones now. Uh...